All right, so I show you the overall workflow of how I handle contracts at Groomo Media. Now, one of you have asked exactly how does this script work? The script that when somebody fills in the form, it sends a copy automatically of the contract to both the sales guy and the client. All right, I didn't include this originally because there's a little bit of a scripting JavaScript scripting within Google Docs and this may be a little bit out of the scope of this course but if you're interested it's not that difficult it's a little bit of copy and paste and customization so now I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how can you how you can replicate the same workflow using Google Forms for your contracts alright so the steps are these about 10 steps the first one is to create a password protected page in WordPress and how do you do that? Very simple. Log into your WordPress and go to Pages, Add New, and then you're going to simply create a new page with the title of your contract, enter all the contract details, which are already pasted here, and then all you have to do to make it password protect protected is go to Visibility, click Edit, and then it will ask you for a password. Then you enter that password, and there you go. If people want to access that page, now it will look like this. Protect it, and you have to enter the password. When they enter the password, click Submit, and that will take them to the contract where now they can fill in the form. This is a Google form. So, what we're going to do is we created the a protected page, enter the contact details. The next thing we have to do, obviously, is to create the a Google Sheet where we're going to capture all the contract information and within the Google Sheet, a Google, Google form, right? So on Google, you just have to go and create a Google Drive or if you're uh, uh, already within a sheet, you can simply go file new spreadsheet, something like that and that create a new sheet where you can start collecting your contract information. Now to collect this contract information, you need to create a form. And that's very simple. You do that simply by going to form and then you here you should have a button that says create new form. This is an existing form, so obviously I don't need to create a new one, right? And that's how you create your form. So create new Google Sheet, create new Google form, now the new the new Google form is going to look like this, right? In this in this case, this is how my Google form looks like, and all I have to do is enter the fields. These are all text fields, so if I click here, I can edit it. You can see this is a text, a question type text. There's several ones. The ones I'm using is text, text, the question title, the help text and also you have other advanced settings if you want to. I just keep it very simple. All I require it is that I click this as a required question. In this form, all the questions are required. All right, so I click Done. So I have the company name, the product, the website URL, the full name of the authorized company representative, and the email, which has to be correct in order for them to get a copy of the contract. Once I have that, What's the next step? Embed the Google form into the WordPress page. All right, so how do I get the embed code? The simplest way is simply go in here to form and go to embed in a web page. When you click there, you have this iframe code, which you're gonna press, you know, uh, Command C to copy on, on, on Mac or Control C to copy on Windows, and you're going to copy that into your protected page at the bottom, which I did right here, and that's going to show up like this, right? So that's done. Now this is the very up to this point is very simple. This now is when we start having to add the code in order to send the confirmation email. So how do we do that? All right. So you have to go to your Google Sheet and under Tools, you're going to have these buttons, Script Gallery, Script Editor. Google has updated Google Sheets recently, so now that may actually show as an add-on, right? But anyways, in my case, 
uh, it was here and all I had to do is add a script. The script is already added so when I go to a script editor it takes me to here and you can see there is a file, a uh, JavaScript file, in this case it's a Google script file which, but it's basically based on, on JavaScript where I have a function called email template and a function on form submit. All right. So what's going to happen, the main function that really matters is this one. This is a, fu a function that Google recognizes and it gets triggered once somebody submits the form. And when it, it, when, when, it, it, when it captures that submission, what this function is doing is capturing the values of each of the fields in the form in, in, into variables and then appending those variables to an email that is going to be sent both to the person submitting the form and to me, right? Now, there is a form, uh, um, function here called template and all it's doing is building the body of the email and appending the variables that have been captured from the form. In this case, I'm ca uh, capturing the client name, uh, full name of the person signing it, the name of the product, and the timestamp of when this form was submitted. And then we have everything here in, in HTML that corresponds to the body of this. So basically what you see here, this body of the contract, it's replicated in here as HTML. And all I'm doing is um, where it says product or client, I'm grabbing those variables from the form and embedding them into the, the email body. Also, I include the payment methods, which are not included in the contract. So this is great. Not only they sign the contract, we both get a, a copy immediately. They also get how they can pay for the deposit of the animation. And everything is there. So we enter the code and to send the confirmation email, customize code and form field variables. I'm going to make this code available to you, but obviously both the content of the contract and the variables that you may need uh, may be different. So it's very important that you update it accordingly. In my case, I'm grabbing all these variables and then appending them to the body of the email that is going to be sent. This may be different for you, but I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that you're capturing a variable called client, like in this case, in order for Google to recognize that you're grabbing that exact variable from the form, you must ensure that the title that appears here, which is the title of the form field, corresponds exactly to the title of the form field that you created. Otherwise, you won't grab it. What I'm trying to say here is if I go to uh, the form, let's say I want to grab the field called company name, company name. If I miss anything, if I miss that column, then it's not going to work, right? So that's basically it. And then every single variable that I want to capture to send to the email on the email of the contract goes here, right? So the actual function that sends the email is this one email app send email, right? Very important. And that's going to contain these advanced arguments, which is basically who is sending the email, the name of the person, Grumo Media, who I'm copying the email to, who, which one is going to be the reply to email. By the way, I misspelled that. So that should be like that, reply to email. The HTML body, it's the email body variable, right? Where that comes from from here, which is actually what I capture from the email template function, right? Anyways, 
Like I say, you may need a little bit of programming knowledge to understand this, but if you copy and paste this, make sure that at least you change who is going to get the email. In my case, I'm, the, the email gets sent to contracts at growmedia.com and obviously to the person that filled in the form. You must make sure that at least you change this email to your email so I so the contracts go to you and not to me because I don't need to see your contracts, obviously. Right? So the next, we've customized the code and form field variables. Then you're going to have to authorize the script. By default, this is not going to work. So what you do, you click here, display button. And when you click on that play button, let me just save this. Uh, preparing for execution. Now it's going to run. It's run. This is going to run because it's already an authorized script. The first time you click here, it's going to ask you, do you want to authorize this script? And then you want to say yes. Uh, before you do that, actually, I forgot something, is that here it says uh, on resources, sorry, you have to ensure that you have made, that you have enabled this trigger. So let's see, uh, current, current projects trigger. And in this case, the project trigger is the function on form submit, right? You have to make sure that this says from a spreadsheet and this says, and you select this as on form submit. All I'm doing here is ensuring that that trigger gets triggered when somebody submits the form from my WordPress embed code, all right? And then you click Save. I'm going to classic is already enabled. And then you go and click here. And then you enable the script. And then from now on, every time somebody fills in this form, it's going to work. So I authorized the script. I created the trigger. Now I'm going to test the script. And finally, optionally, you can use a Google uh, plugin for WordPress called Google Form which allows you to make, I have it here, I haven't implemented it right now, but basically, as you can see, the look of this form is, it's, it's branded like Google, as Google, it doesn't really look that pretty. What that plugin allows you to do is create a short code that you can embed on your page and basically style this so it looks nice. So it kind of looks like it belongs to your website. So that's the plugin you can use. Well, finally, what I'm going to do is actually test this. I'm going to fill the, this form in so you can see what the email looks like uh, when somebody submits a contract using this system. So here is the email that was just sent as a test. Obviously, this is not a real job, but this is what it would look like using the template and the script on Google Docs that I just showed you. So you here have the, the title of the, of the email, animation contract, who, all of these fields are, are, were filled in with the variables that we captured from the form, the product, the contract um, information, the details, rate, payment schedule, the payment methods are included here as well. So it's very easy for them to pay either by PayPal, check, wire transfer, I even include a direct PayPal link here if they decide to pay by PayPal. Revisions, revisions policy, revisions rate, copyright and ownership. Obviously, this should be different or at least checked by your own uh, lawyer uh, in order to, for, to meet your own needs. I'm just showing you what this would look like. Then who signed it? Elon Musk, I wish, obviously. This is just a test and a digital signature stamp. This is the way I've been collecting contracts for the last five years. It's worked really well. It makes it very simple. There's nothing to sign manually. Uh, and uh, we both get a copy immediately. Sometimes clients want, want, want us to, to sign their own contracts, and it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll either sign their contract, obviously revise it, if you don't understand uh, the legalese that it's in their contract. Typically on bigger comp on bigger companies, it could be several pages uh, of, of 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 data. But for the average client that we deal with, this contract system is worked perfectly. You know, there there is a there's paper trail in case there's any issues. 
very easy to find out what they signed uh, and all of that, right? There is not here, I mean, if, if you're doing similar work, you probably want to have a field that says what's the deadline that was agreed in our case, because a, a lot, what it takes to complete one of these videos really depends on how fast we get feedback from the client, then we cannot agree or we cannot commit to a specific deadline. We'll try to do our best to meet that deadline, but what happens if the client decides not to uh, to give feedback at a specific stage, let's say on the script stage, because the people that are making the decisions are traveling, and now three weeks go by, we don't hear anything, and then we have one week to complete the whole video. That doesn't make sense. That's why we say, on the average, six to four, four to five weeks to complete one of these videos, providing that we get feedback from the client uh, as fast as possible, right? So, and anyways, anything that is important for us in this case is, is in this very, very simple contract. And the system that uh, we use is protected WordPress pages with a Google form embedded and a script like this that triggers once it's filled in, both get a copy, pop is your ankle, let's get to work as soon as we get the down payment, of course. All right? Hope, hopefully this works for you. Hey, did you enjoy this video? If you wanna see more like this, just subscribe here. If you want a free gift, click here. Yeah. Which one is going to be the one you click?